So in this video, what we're going to do is walk into a box. I stepped in a box. Audio clip plays. And there you go. If you like this channel, make sure you hit subscribe and like the video. It really helps me out. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get a trigger box. And let's just dump that in there and just scale it up. Just so we've got something to walk into. From here, I'm going to click blueprints up the top and convert selected component to blueprint class. Double click uh, wherever you want to save this blueprint. BP underscore sound, create blueprint, and the event graph opens. Well, the viewport, then the event graph. I'm going to select the com collision comp and when on begin component, on component begin overlap is what I want. From here, what we need to do is we need to bring in our audio file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a uh, audio clip of me just saying something stupid. I stepped in a box. And <laughs> I've set this as a mono sound clip. From here, I'm going to right click and create a cue. And I'm just going to press enter on that. Go back to our BP sound. And I'm going to do play sound at location. Select access. Uh, um, select asset stepped box MQ and now compile save whoops stop play now if we walk in I stepped in a box it sounds like there's multiple things multiple it's an echo I stepped in a box horrendous and that's because this first person blueprint has multiple collisions. So now if I go into our first person blueprints, first person character, viewport, now we can see everything. Now I know that the L motion controller has a generate, generate overlap event, and so does the R. Let's turn these off, compile. Please don't make me a liar again. I stepped in a box. I hate you with a passion. What we need to do as well is the other thing is, is we need to change the spheres, have a collision as well. So I'm just going to turn these off temporarily and also the spheres, the sphere and the VR marker. Now, if we press play, I stepped in a box. Sounds much cleaner because there's only one thing uh, colliding with the box compared to however many. So, but the next problem is, I stepped in a box. I stepped in a box. I stepped in a box. I, I can just keep in walking box. in and out and it just keeps playing. So let's kind of stop that. What I'm going to do is here, I'm going to create a variable sound playing. Oh gosh. Sound playing, uh, compile. I'm going to dump it in here, get sound. Let's put a branch in. Is the sound playing? No, we want it to be false. So break. And I'm going to put in a set sound playing. There we go. Is the sound playing? Sure is, now it is. And then I'm going to, after this, set sound playing to false. So that means that now it'll play. Actually, we can kind of, I know we won't really be able to watch it, but now what we've got is, um, is the sound playing at the moment? No, it's not. Okay, so that's false. We'll set that object to true, which means that if we come along again and try and launch it again, it's gonna say it is playing. So that means it's true, which means nothing happens. Meanwhile, this sound will be able to play out, then set it to false again, that it's not playing, and then we've got that loop again. So if we do this again, I stepped in a box. 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 I. I can only get it to play once, which is exactly what we want. Let's just break all these. Break. Oh, shush, break, break all. Break in line, and if we come straight down here, compile, play. I stepped in a box. In a so box. you can see I can walk I in and out and have the noises playing. I stepped in a box. I stepped in a box. box. If you like this channel, make sure you hit subscribe and like the video. It really helps me out.